Today I'm going to share with you a simple way to make beeswax taper candles at home. So the beeswax that I use actually comes from a local honey farm. If you can find a raw beeswax um, sourced locally, that will be your best bet for making your taper candles. Um, if not, I do have some uh, resources that I can share with you on ways that you can purchase beeswax online. Um, we're going to be making our beeswax taper candles using a mold. And these are, like I said, raw beeswax from a local farm. And I've used 100% cotton wick for these beeswax taper candles. And um, we burn these in our home all year round um, and really enjoy the natural uh, scent that the beeswax gives off. Um, and they burn really well. So we have the eight candle the eight taper candle mold, and then I also have a single mold, and I'm gonna share both with you um, because the method of, to make them is the same whether you're making the um, bigger batch or whether you're just going to make one single candle. So I already have our beeswax melting here using a double boiling method. Um, this is a pot of water that has been boiling and it is melting down the beeswax here in a pitcher. Um, so the, the next step, once you've gotten your beeswax started melting, is you're going to want to wick your molds. And I'm gonna show you how to do that using a wicking needle. For wicking your large taper candle mold, you're going to take your wick and you're gonna feed it through the eye of your wicking needle and you're gonna tie it in a knot to securely fasten it to the wicking needle. And the bottom of the taper candle mold has eight small holes. So you're just gonna find one of those holes and you're gonna push it through and feed it all the way through the mold. And once it's come all the way through the top part, you can see there's a good inch of space there. I'm also going to leave just about a half an inch down here at the bottom and you can trim that wick. Once you've trimmed the wick from the bottom, you can untie your wicking needle and you have fed your wick through the mold so that when you pour your wax, that wick is secure inside there. And you're gonna repeat those steps for all eight. Now that we have fed our wicks through our taper candle molds, we are going to set the wick. And by set the wick, I just mean you wanna pull your wick tightly through. Don't pull it so much that you pull it through that bottom hole. It needs to stay through the bottom hole because this is actually the wick that you will light um, down here at this end. Um, but you do wanna just pull it tightly so that you don't have loose wick um, inside that final candle. And I like to use a bobby pin or just a small craft Clothes pin um, to secure the wick just right there in the center of the candle. You do want your wicks to be centered and I found this is the simplest way to keep them tight and centered while you're pouring them. The nice thing about pouring beeswax is beeswax is a very hard wax so it's going to solidify quickly once you pour it. Um, it's going to harden up very quickly and keep that wick in place but you do want something just while that wax is still uh, liquid to keep your wick in place. So you can see here, I've just taken the bobby pin and um, centered that wick and the same with the clothes pin. So you're gonna wanna do that for all of your wicks. Our wax is fully melted, so we are gonna take our beeswax and we're gonna go ahead and pour it right into the molds. You're gonna wanna pour slowly. We're 
we're going to leave those untouched for about two hours so they can fully cool down and harden and then I will show you how you can remove your beeswax taper candles from their mold and begin using them. It has been about two hours since we poured our candles and you can see at the top of the mold around the edges of the candles there's a little bit of space there so as the candles have uh, hardened up they've actually shrunk just slightly and that's showing me signs that they are ready to be removed from the mold so we're going to just give them a nice gentle tug and they should pop out very easily and you can remove whatever it is that you were using to fasten it to keep your wick fastened and just clip the bottom here and you're going to want to leave yourself about a quarter of an inch of wick at the top and you have beeswax taper candles 